For those tab hoarders out there, Tabstash is the add-on you've been waiting for. With Tabstash, you can group and organize all your tabs. It also lets you sort, search through open tabs, and quickly restore closed tabs, so you won't waste time digging for that clown prop shop tab you closed by accident. This add-on is one that should keep your eyes in the shade when you need it most. Automatic dark puts dark mode on a schedule so you can stay awake during the day with light mode and get nice and cozy when the sun goes down with dark mode. Besides good password hygiene, is there anything else I need to do to stay secure? Truth is, you still have to stay on top of it. Even if you follow all these protocols, there's still a chance some password gets compromised somewhere, somehow. To stay ahead of that, Firefox has a handy dandy tool called Monitor. All you do is you put in your email address and it'll notify you if you've been part of any data breaches. Sometimes entering your contact info online is totally unavoidable. Maybe there's a 25% discount if you cough up that email. And yeah, at the time it was totally worth it for a novelty shower head that looks like a duck from a sketchy Instagram store. But two weeks later, my spam box is jam packed with all sorts of novelty bathroom accessories. Well, if you learn your lesson like me, let's avoid those sketchy shopping spam traps using Firefox Relay. This badass service will create a burner email address for you called an email mask that you can use instead of your real email address. Oh, and just when you thought it wasn't cool enough, Firefox Relay does phone numbers too. You can create a burner number just like the email service and both calls and texts sent to the burner will forward to your number. Plus, if you're just waiting for that two-factor code to come in, you can enable or disable the number whenever you want. Aw, oh, shucka ducky quack quack. Freestyle tab is an add-on that consolidates and organizes. You can drag and drop all those different tabs under a parent branch and poof! All of a sudden, you've got organized clusters that you can minimize and expand as you're hopping around shopping for the best pair of crutes and which socks to go with it. Because I guess socks with sandals is in now? Dads everywhere are rejoicing. If that's not enough to keep you focused on the task at hand, try putting those tabs away. But I spent so much time finding all these sweet socks. Oh, I get it. It's a rare pair that looks just like the ones great grandma knitted for you on your sixth birthday. Close that and say goodbye to your portal to great granny memories for good. No! Grandma lives on. Tab Stash saves all your tabs as bookmarks so you can come right back whenever you like. Phew, and it's saved for good. So once those socks are worn down, get right back to it and buy it again. Yeah! Plus, if you're a Firefox Sync user, it'll automatically stash those tabs to your other devices, just in case you're on the go and need a replacement pair to meet you wherever you are. Hey, maybe you don't want all those bookmarks. Just put it all in one spot for a hot second so you can get back to it when you get a chance. For something like that, there's one tab. It turns all your tabs into a list of links on a single page. Once again, saving your device from drowning in tabs and helping you keep your eye on the prize. Maybe get on the crudes first, then the socks. For the graphic designers out there or anyone that can see color, Firefox actually has an eyedropper tool built in so you can get those colors right every time. Step one, hit the hamburger menu. Step two, inside the hamburger menu, go to more tools and hit the eyedropper and then just pick your color. If you were to open a Facebook tab right now, how many trackers would you find scooping your data like ice cream from your profile? If only there was some way to know. But that's just it. There is a way. And of course, it's built right into Firefox. Open your browsers and browse to one of your favorite sites. If you take a look just to the left of your URL bar, you'll notice a shield. Click that shield and you'll find the protections dashboard. Sort of like this. This dashboard holds very important information about how Firefox has automatically defended you from three major privacy threats. Cookies. Fingerprints. Are those actual fingers? And trackers. This automatic blocking happens whether you've opened the dashboard or not. But now you can see when your data is being tracked while you browse, so you can start making educated choices about your browsing habits. The internet is both my workspace and my play space. 
Any tips for staying off my fave sites while I pretend to work? I got you, boo. I've got a couple vices of my own. Hey, that's for me to know. I I'm just saying we're on the same page. <laughs> what do I do? I just block it. Bam, see, blocked. Try something like block site that does what I just did. You tell it what to block, and you can even tell it for how long or certain times of day. Like when you're supposed to be at work, not tweeting. Maybe you want something a little less aggressive. Tomato clock is a great one to keep you focused. You can set tomato intervals, basically breaking down a work session into multiple blocks of time and getting little breaks in between. It tracks your progress, encouraging you to stay focused for that segment of time and earn that Twitter break. With this tool, you can turn your mouse into a magic wand by programming special button and movement combos to do anything from scrolling on a page to executing custom scripts of your design. Opening up your favorite bookmark website is now just a swish and flick away. Boop. Mozilla Hubs is a bustling new metaverse platform that aims to be a path into the metaverse. Plus, you don't even need a VR headset, just a browser. With a growing community, live events, and tons of social features, Hubs is an excellent way to start your metaverse journey. If you've accidentally closed your Firefox window and need to get back to what you were doing quickly, you can push the Restore Session button in the History Settings to bring the session back from the dead. You can even tell Firefox to do this every time you open the application, so you never have to remember all your go-to URLs ever again. Oh yeah, and no salt bait necessary. When's the last time you printed out a web page? If you didn't answer never, then you probably don't know your computer has a built-in screenshot function. But what do you do about those never-ending pages? Check out Firefox's screenshot feature. Not only can you define your own screenshot sizes, like the ones you're used to, but you can also grab the entire page in a single image. It's been waiting for you this whole time. Just a right click away. You're lounging on your daybed, browsing recipes on your phone to send to your personal chef for dinner tonight. Very relatable, I know. You found 17 mouth-watering recipes and want your chef to make them all. Why should you choose one? That's where Pocket steps in. It's a save button for the internet. Using the Pocket mobile app, you can stash those recipes directly into your Pocket. Now over on your desktop, just hit the Pocket button, select View My List, and there you'll find all your saved articles. The features don't stop there. Pocket also has a discovery page, and while it is curated partly by an algorithm, it is done so in conjunction with real human eyes and There are many providers you can choose from for burner browsers, but there is one very special one that I'd like to introduce you to. It's okay, sweetie. Don't be shy. Come introduce yourself. Everyone, this is Firefox Focus, but I think she's pretty neat. Yes, you are. You are pretty neat. Yes, you are. What's awesome about it is that it's basically just a search bar. That's it. That's the app. And once you're done, you just trash your session and everything is erased. It's super satisfying. And it only takes two seconds to download. Go ahead. Oh wait. Did you do it? Awesome. Using a burner browser can be great for protecting yourself when you want privacy, but it does come at a cost. Not all your favorite websites are going to allow you to block ads, trackers, and scripts. Unlike Firefox Focus, some burners can take even longer to load, which isn't so bad if you're longing for the days of dial-up. Ah, it's important to evaluate what level of security brings you comfort and choose the best solution for you. Is it ringing in here?